All right, so we've got the keyboard, and actually, I'm pretty impressed. They ship some extra um, little finger pointer pads right here. Like this. So this model has both the uh, touchpad and the little finger stick. Nice, nice new keyboard. They shipped a tool to replace the keyboard and they shipped a new bezel that goes to lock the keyboard in. So normally they just send the keyboard itself. So what we do first, or what I do, is first make sure there's no screws. Sometimes they put screws holding in that piece. Not on this one. Pivot the screen back all the way. And normally I use a screwdriver, but since I got this nice tool from Dell, go over here to this corner. Get it under there and pop it out. There it is. Nothing wrong with that bezel. I guess they give it to you just in case you break the old one. Take these screws out. One tip. If you are replacing the keyboard, you can use the old keyboard as a guide. As you can see on this one, sometimes they'll have screws that you have to get to from the bottom, but you'll be able to look at the bottom of the keyboard and tell. This one, of course, the only place it has for screws are on the top three, so I know that's the only screws that are holding this one in place. That's it. Go ahead and get these screws out. the keyboard back. We've got two connectors on here, one for the finger stick, glide point or something, whatever that thing's called, and the other for the keyboard itself. So we just flip those connectors up. Take the new one, flip it over. Keep in mind, I'm doing this one handed. Done these quite a bit. Let's see, get a ring. See, just put the connector in there. It has proven to be a little difficult one handed. Maybe a little easier like this. Alright, let's uh, go for a different point of view here. That'll work. Connector going all the way. There it went. And once it's in, flip that down, put that one up. Some 
account. Sometimes these things can be a little tricky. You can, if you're very careful, you can use some little pliers. I prefer just use my fingers. Uh, kind of hard to rip them with your fingers, but it's sure easy to rip them with pliers. Keyboard's in. Now we just gotta put the screws back in. New keyboard sure makes this thing look nice. Should have got a screen bezel and a palm top and bottom part. Made this thing look like new. This laptop's pretty cool, but it's uh, a little on the slow side because that hard drive. 4200 RPM hard drive, what this thing needs, and it's IDE. But they do make some ZIF socket IDE um, solid state drives, and that would speed this thing up. But they're really expensive for a hard drive. 150 bucks for a uh, 64 gig. Alright, so we got that in, snapped it down. Alright, phone's ringing and we're done.